This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer. The one and only eight father in the house, baby. Wow! I just wanted to give, ready, Joey, I'm reading this, um, Picora. Joey Picora, P-E-C-O-R-A. I wanted to give him a big shout out and a lot of credit. Listen to this beautiful comment that Joey just wrote, okay, to the eight father. A commercial is actually a great idea. If it could get in front of an audience, it's the same people every time that are negative. No matter what the idea is, they'll scream scam. Okay. Newsflash. If someone is trying to scam you, they usually won't give out their phone number, email, and where they live. It's the same small circle of people every video. They have multiple accounts and just like and comment on each other's video. Obviously, these people don't know what a scam is. So you know the level of smarts we are dealing with here. Joey Picora. I don't know if you can see it, but here he is, baby. Joey's the man. A true ape with diamond balls of steel. All right. Uh, Joey, just wanted to thank you because the eight father gets a lot of heat, man. I get a lot of heat. And I don't know why. I really don't know why. Because everything that Joey said is true. I, I, I'm very transparent. I mean, you know where I live. Why would I scam anybody, right? <laughs> like, you know where I live. I'm not going to scam anybody. Everything I've ever done since I came into this movement has been positive. It's been positive. Like, example, the GoFundMe page. I don't want to keep repeating it. I donated $3,000 to help ape brothers and ape sisters out. Privately, I donated probably, a, a, I think, at least over 1000 more. I think 2000 Okay, privately, where just apes would contact me if I'm at a restaurant, I'm eating a lot of food. They're like, ape father, I'm starving. I send the money. I don't want to keep going over this. I have done nothing but positive things. People call me a scam artist. They call me a liar. Yet you believe people that that are, in my opinion, ghosts. Okay, like this Commander 35 that everybody's starting to, you know, like, you know, all my haters. He's like the... Uh, He's like the hero of the haters, <laughs> you know, they're like, oh, he speaks the truth. He speaks the truth. We don't know this guy's name. We don't know anything about this guy. We don't know where he lives. All I know is that he shows pictures of people in unconscious in his house that most likely, most likely he drugs and then he molests. That's all we know about this guy. <laughs> he says he doesn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Please, I can't handle it. This is the funniest shit. He goes, he has no time to have a girlfriend right now. Yeah, I know you have no time to have a girlfriend because you're too busy friggin' drugging men. <laughs> molesting them at rest stops. I understand you have a very busy schedule. <laughs> but anyway, listen, it's very, very simple, okay? I only want the best for the ape family. That's it. Look, I I'm getting to a point where I, I understand that things have to be done in a very concrete way to prove to all the apes that I only have good intentions. So that's why, even though, you know, the, the TV commercial idea is great, it really is a great idea, I'm going to hold off on it. I'm going to only focus on protesting, and I'm going to focus on Ape Island. Now, let me tell you the reason why. Protesting is very simple. I just show up there. You know, you show up there if you, if you want to. It's up to you. And we have our constitutional right to express our voice, okay? So that's an easy thing to do. Protesting is done, January 28th in Wall Street, okay? Now, as far as Ape Island is concerned, I think that you have to at least give me credit where credit's due. You ready? Listen to me. I'm not asking you for any money. So like, how could you call it a scam? I just don't understand. How can you say Ape Island is a scam? Because so many people are saying it. I see it all over the comment sections. They're saying Ape Island is a scam. I'm a scam. How is Ape Island a scam if I'm not asking you for any money? I'm asking you for an email. Do you know that there's these sick apes that are saying that I'm trying to sell their emails? Are you nuts? Seriously, like how far do you go with this, man? Like how far do you go? <laughs> it's crazy. I'm selling emails. Yeah, all right. Oh, can you believe it? Can you believe the amount of hate the ape father has to deal with on a daily basis? And all he's trying to do is help our AMC Mo Moaz. That's all I want is the AMC Moaz. Listen to me. There's no way possible Ape Island is a scam. Okay? You're not giving me any money. That's it. You're going to have your attorneys when we're at a point, okay, where I have enough email reservations. You're going to have your attorney and my attorney contact each other. There's going to be a contract drawn out to protect all of your interest. 
It's going to be done through attorneys, you sick, lunatic psychopaths. It's not a scam. <laughs> it's impossible. How can it be a scam? You're not spending any money, right? And the only time you will spend money is after you and your attorney review a contract, a le legal contract to protect your interest. That's all I have to say about that. I just wanted to give a shout out. Joey, you are the man. The A father loves you, baby.